Welcome, Guardians. This is Winch here. Let's try take two of this. Uh, just recorded this whole commentary a minute ago, 12 minutes of it, and neglected to actually hit the record button on my uh, mic. Anyway, one of those days. Um, why do I do this? I do this for you, viewers, and many of you guys uh, have been asking me, many of my Battlefield 4 followers, why I have neglected Battlefield, and I'm still putting out videos about Destiny. I'm getting a lot of hate about it. Well, I mean, guys, forgive me. I mean, I play Battlefield, but it just, it's not as enjoyable as frankly as I am enjoying Destiny right now and uh, so I play what I enjoy I have not ne neglected Battlefield completely um, just bear with me but uh, here today to talk about Destiny actually what do you guys recognize me in the Battlefield on Destiny the other day shot me a message always appreciate that uh, and many of you guys do enjoy my Destiny content and there, there are a growing audience of Destiny viewers that enjoy my content so I wanted to cater to them as well because Frankly, I don't have nearly as many Destiny videos as I do Battlefield, and I really do enjoy Destiny despite all its faults, and one of the biggest faults they have right now is weapon balance, in particular, auto rifles. And that's what I'm here to talk today about is Hard Light. I want to perform a review, give you some good gameplay with Hard Light, because Zer is selling this, and just by coincidence, uh, I mean, Zer is selling this this week, and just by coincidence, I was playing with this gun just a couple days ago, and I actually grabbed a couple good matches with this. So you can see gameplay of uh, here on Rumble, and the next match will be a uh, Clash. And oddly enough, this weapon is not really as bad a, as many people give it out to be, and that's kind of a bad wagon type of philosophy you see a lot of times in Destiny. People just write off a, a whole weapon class or a particular weapon and say it's trash, and auto rifles are definitely in that grouping right now. Oh, here's a skill gap, huh? Oh, fusion grenades. Golly. Boy, are those things overpowered. Um, you'll see that a couple times in this gameplay where I literally have this guy dead to rights, but he just hits that close my eyes, panic switch button, and the grenade flies out, and he's got two of them since the death. But nonetheless, uh, that's one of the things, again, about Destiny I, I do gripe about. It's class balancing, weapon balancing, and it doesn't seem like they really address this stuff in more timely enough fashion because there's no question right now, if you walk into this, like, hard light, if you walk into Trials of Osiris match with hard light, you are going to get laughed at by the other tryhard team with their last words, their thorns, and their hawk moons because there's no question that hand cannons absolutely just frankly, forgive the language, to shit on auto rifles. And there's just nothing we can do about it. But if you want to challenge yourself, if you want a little change of pace, if you guys are tired of spamming the same guns over and over, maybe you ought to try auto rifles a little bit because you actually can do good with these weapons if you put yourself in the right situation. I mean, you're not going to guess a goal gun point blank range, but we'll come back to that here in a moment because maybe, maybe that's not always the case. Uh, but hard light, uh, in terms of the auto rifles out there, exotic auto rifles, we have hard light, Cyrus Regime, and Monte Carlo. The most closest comparison to hard light is Monte Carlo, but Monte Carlo has double the range that hard light does essentially, particularly if you run the Senate perk, whereas hard light has no Senate perk. One of my biggest criticism about hard light is. If you run a fitted stock on this and you nearly max out its ability, it still has an odd vibration coming in the reticle right here. You can kind of see it. It gyrates, it vibrates, despite having a, quote, nearly maxed ability. Um, and it's not like the other bullet sponges out there, if you will, like Suomar's Wrath, the original variant, or any kind of max stability or fire rate weapon, they don't do that. And here's a good gameplay here, by the way. I mean, this is, I'm holding my own here in Rumble. Uh, the other bullet hoses don't vibrate like this thing does, but for some reason this thing vibrates and the, also the disorienting effect of the ricochet rounds ricocheting off your target coming back at you is a little bit uh, annoying uh, and troublesome as well to deal with. Uh, so right off the bat, if I had to compare this to Monte Carlo, I would give the edge to Monte Carlo just because the range of it is so much more effective. Now again, fusion grenades. My goodness. I mean, that's nothing worse than getting a, a good kill streak and a good uh, run interrupted by a fusion grenade like that. And again, Pernan's Fire, a great complement to Harley. you got to have a good complement to this weapon, particularly for those off-guard situations, because when a guy's closing in you with a, with a rock, with a uh, shotgun, you need to have something put down quick. Now look at all these guys. One after the other, i got to line up behind each other. That's ideal for this weapon, because the weapon's bullets do over-penetrate and shoot through them just like armor-piercing rounds and hit the target behind it. So that's another great aspect of this weapon. In addition to that, the last half of your magazine, the glass half full perk will kick in, and this will do just a little more damage. Those are the perks. That's why I feel like this gun is better suited for me than Monte Carlo, because as a Titan, I'm just not a big melee guy. 
And I think arguably Titan's melee is just really weak. Oh, right there. Ooh, that one hurts. So, <laughs> I mentioned gold gun. Let's come back to that because uh, you got to see a guy light up a gold gun full health. And this is the, the oh shit moment. And yet, somehow I manage to drop this guy. And again, I argue that the, the degree of skill Imagine required right now with this gun, because I wasn't even pulling off precision kills right there, but it was a good strafe. Uh, I feel like the degree of skill required to use an auto rifle right now is higher than any other weapon because the time to kill is certainly the highest. You have to maintain your reticle, you have to maintain your fire, and you literally have to outplay your enemy in every situation in terms of aim, positioning, um, and maintaining your aim <laughs> while you're basically holding down the fire button. Now this isn't to say like, you know, this is a troll setup or you know, it's completely useless. I mean, you just saw me go MVP and rumble. There must be something I'm doing right. Again, it's, it's your compliments, your loadout, it's your, it's your whole positioning. It's thinking about how you're going to address your situation because you just can't ramble into a group of three guys and expect to put them all down with this gun. Uh, now maybe you can pull that off with last word. Uh, or a thorn, but you know with a with the auto rifle like this you kind of have to position yourself now right here Forgive me. I'm actually on the phone. I should add to that out But I'm actually kind of distracting this gameplay for like the first half of that probably getting off the phone Like I'm actually doing pretty good with this gun Put the phone down and focus on the gameplay because it kind of caught me off guard again positioning I'm trying to feed off a lot of the kills from my enemies or from my teammates that is and get assists or take uh, kills that uh, I can that already have taken damage. I'm not saying you're a leech here Auto rifles go both ways. You can see yourself getting a lot of assists with auto rifles as well as uh, taking kills from your uh, teammates, frankly. Um, but uh, again, there's a quick a little leech kill. Uh, pulling back here again behind fire. That was a good game gameplay right there with this weapon. I mean, hard light, if you get yourself in the right situation, don't let the range part fool you. It actually has better range than I think. That really credits itself for. Maybe you're not going to be doing 21 damage, but instead you'll be doing 17 or 18. I mean, that's a whopping four or five damage variant difference. It's not that huge of a difference, even at the quote long range weapon. But it is stable, uh, and that's what's important to note here is just how stable the weapon is, even though it is kind of gyrating and stuff. Uh, one of the biggest things about this weapon I've been on the receiving end lately since Sir sold it here is that when you're getting hit with this weapon it has a disorienting effect like those little I'm not sure why this weapon doesn't do arc damage but those little electric bullets coming out of this thing uh, hitting you right in the face it almost feels like it's a high caliber round it feels like it's throwing off your aim and you're staggering your opponent right here's a fail I should have just hit my super and got those two guys uh, but I feel like this weapon has almost a high caliber aspect to it, but there's no question the bullets hitting you in the face at particular precision shots are very visually disorienting effect of this, and that's something that's not mentioned in any exotic perk. That's something you find about exotic weapons, the more you use them, the more you, you kind of see things that really aren't there. Like Mita Tool, Mita Multi-Tool for example, it has high caliber rounds built into it, it staggers your targets too. In Crucible I've noticed as well when I get hit by that thing, it feels like that's just really throws off my aim. Now forgive the shoulder charge kill. I gotta have something to lean back on in a pinch. And right now I'm definitely in a pinch. I'm taking on multiple enemies here. I'm right in the spawn. As you see they're kind of strafe. I'm pulling back, trying to take cover again, and my health's down. I mean one bullet here, I'm simply or a bullet or a grenade, I'm, I'm gonna be done. So again I'm still positioning myself. I'm still going on the offensive despite my health. Somehow fail that shoulder charge kill. I should have that guy. Pulling back again in the pinch, Hernan's fire is going to complement my loadout because Harleys is simply not going to be able to kill in those close quarters situ situations. I should pull off a 10 kill streak in this match here at one point in time, which you're going to see. It's it's just like, it's possible. It is doable. If you think smartly, throwing out my grenade to try to cover, give me some uh, cover with this heavy, uh, ammo uh, heavy ammo spawn in right here. Pulling back behind cover again as I'm reloading and another grenade kill as well. Just perfect. That's I mean, that's just textbook example of how you position yourself and make yourself a force or a threat to behold. Blanking very integral to your survival as well. Took out two enemies here head on, pull off two kills, there's a 10 kill streak and I mean it can be done. I'm not guaranteeing, I'm not saying this is a, a beast weapon, but I think it's actually pretty good and I, what I like about it are those exotic perks that it has. There's a gold gun tier right there, two more kills and then nearly pull off the third. Um, I mean, it's just rewarding, it, and it's gratifying, and it's it's just fun. That's why I play this game, and I enjoy these loadouts. I really like this gun. I think visually, it's the best-looking exotic gun 
in the game, in my opinion, uh, in terms of definitely in the Outer Rivals. It, it, this looks really good on my uh, Titans loadout. I'm all blacked out. Got this black, cool-looking uh, Auto Rifle. It sounds cool. I remember the first time I heard this gun on the battlefield, way back in the early days of Destiny, it caught my attention. I literally went and, and like found this guy in PvE, and I was like, what is this gun this guy has? And I always wanted it. It took so long for me to actually get so I actually had to buy it from Zer when he finally sold it for the first time months and months later. I mean, it was over six months later I was able to get my hands on this gun. Um, and it's disappointing that it's not as powerful as it should be. I feel like it needs to do more damage and time to kill definitely needs to be reduced. But what I'm trying to say is at some point Bungie's going to, to buff auto rivals. This is just a fact. I mean, the, the, the community right now is all in agreement. Uh, so when it does, and if I can do this now with the weapon that with the state the weapon's in, imagine what you can do when they do buff auto rifles as a whole, increase the damage, reduce the time to kill. I really think this is going to be a contender out there. And if you're like me, where uh, Monte Carlo doesn't really suit your playstyle in terms of its exotic stats, I really hate running an exotic gun like Monte Carlo. Even I love it, absolutely love Monte Carlo. Don't get me wrong, but running that exotic perk that you don't utilize. I'm just not a melee kind of guy, except in that situation you just saw a second ago. Feedback fence uh, for the win right there. Um, but I just don't pull off that many uh, melee kills when I can, because again, I think Titans are really weak. Here's a guy up the bubble dancing out. I mean, you don't dance in bubbles, guys, uh, unless you're trying to pull some in, but uh, be aware for the uh, the super. Again, Pernan's Fire, it's all about complimenting your loadout. Hard light, you will have to have a secondary you can count on. And this thing is just a monster. It's an absolute monster. I bait people all the time with uh, shotguns. I mean, it's not going to win engagements like that. You're not going to one-shot a gold gun. But you can win a lot of fights with a good sidearm and a good future rifle. Again, that's another weapon that people kind of steer away from now is future rifle. I'm not sure why. Uh, they are a great weapon. So here's a blade answer. I think that he's uh, expired his timeout, so I got to... Got to pay him a little, little, uh, little friendly tea bag at the end because I can I can't stand hunters and they're overpowered uh, supers. But uh, hope you guys like the video. Keep in mind auto rifles. If you want a challenge, again, I think it's the highest skill curve right now. If you can actually go MVP with these types of weapons, I really enjoy hard light. I give it my endorsement. I think it's a great gun. Uh, and just imagine this thing whenever they come around and buff these things. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna happen. It's only a matter of time. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the battlefield.